Hello friends. Today, I want to share with you a significant and heartfelt moment for the Danish royal family, and for Denmark as a whole. It's a story about family, tradition, and the exciting journey of one young man who is stepping out into the world, Crown Prince Christian, the future King of Denmark. On Wednesday, Queen Mary and King Frederick faced what can only be described as an emotional day, as their eldest son, Crown Prince Christian, officially left the family home. At just 18 years old, Christian is embarking on a new and exciting chapter in his life, beginning his gap year with an extended stay in East Africa. Now, many of you may know that Crown Prince Christian just graduated from high school in June. Like many young people his age, he's taking some time to explore the world and gain new experiences before fully stepping into his future responsibilities. But, of course, this isn't just any ordinary gap year. In fact, the Danish palace shared that Christian will be spending his time on two local farms in East Africa. He'll be involved in everything from practical and administrative tasks to learning about nature conservation. This hands-on experience will last until December, giving him an opportunity to step away from the royal spotlight and gain a deeper understanding of the world. What's particularly important to note is that the palace has requested privacy during Christian's time abroad, meaning we won't be receiving any regular updates or details on his journey. And while there may be curiosity about his activities, it's clear that the royal family wants Christian to have this chance to grow, learn, and explore without constant attention. Of course, this is a significant change for Queen Mary and King Frederick. As parents of four children, with Princess Isabella at 17, and the 13-year-old twins, Prince Vincent and Princess Josephine, Christian's departure will undoubtedly bring some changes to the royal household. But for Christian, this experience is essential in preparing him for his future as the King of Denmark. Now, some of you may be wondering, why send the crown prince off to Africa? Well, this journey is not just a modern move, it's deeply rooted in royal tradition. King Frederick, Christian's father, and Queen Margrethe, his grandmother, both took similar journeys during their youth. King Frederick traveled to Mongolia in 1986, and later, he spent a year working on a wine farm in California. Queen Margrethe, during her youth, visited East Asia and South America. These experiences gave them unique perspectives and helped shape them into the leaders they are today. And now, Crown Prince Christian is following in their footsteps, taking his own path of growth and discovery. Before setting off on this adventure, Christian made a final public appearance in France, supporting Danish athletes at the Paris 2024 Paralympic Games. He spent time at the Danish camp, meeting athletes like Alexander Hillhaus, who won gold in the 100 meters butterfly, and Daniel Wagner, who brought home a silver in the long jump. He didn't just watch from the sidelines, he engaged with the athletes over coffee and lunch, showing his deep connection to the people of Denmark, and his commitment to representing them. Back home, life continues for King Frederick and Queen Mary. Despite the emotional farewell to their son, royal duties go on. On the day Christian left, King Frederick hosted several ambassadors, including those from Malawi, Oman, Angola, and Sweden. Meanwhile, Queen Mary attended the Carlsberg Foundation's Research Awards, supporting innovation and education in Denmark. And let's not forget, the family recently enjoyed a much-needed break at their Jutland residence, Graston Palace. After their summer holiday, Queen Mary and King Frederick embarked on a tour of Denmark aboard the royal ship Danbrog, continuing their commitment to connecting with their people. As Crown Prince Christian begins this important chapter, we can see that this is more than just a young man setting out on a trip. It's a rite of passage, rooted in royal tradition and modern aspirations. His time in East Africa will help shape him into the kind of leader Denmark will one day need. This moment is a reminder that even for royals, life is full of emotional milestones and transitions. It's about balancing duty with personal growth, tradition with the changing world around us. So, as we think of Christian's journey, let's remember that the future of Denmark's monarchy is in good hands. He's taking this time to learn and experience the world, and when he returns, he'll be even more prepared to take on the responsibilities that come with being the future king of Denmark. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe my channel.